Welcome viewers. King is urged to intervene about Harry and Meghan's titles following the insult of an anti-racism award. But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for updates. The Ripple of Hope Award for Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights will be presented to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex on December 6. After Robert F. Kennedy's daughter, Cara Kennedy, praised Meghan and Harry for making their damaging accusations of racism and neglect against the firm during their explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey last year, Niall Gardner, a British commentator and former advisor to the late British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher, said the Duke and Duchess of Sussex should be stripped of their royal titles by King Charles III, swiftly and decisively. Mr Gardner tweeted the following, a slight against the British monarchy immediately and firmly removing Meghan and Harry from their royal titles is necessary. The late US President John F. Kennedy's niece, Ms. Kennedy, asserted that the Sussex's public criticism of the firm undermined the royal family's power structure in a recent interview. In a statement to The Telegraph about Meghan and Harry's accomplishments, Ms. Kennedy, whose organization the Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights will present the Sussexes with the Ripple of Hope Award on December 6, said they went to the oldest institution in UK history and told them what they were doing wrong, that they couldn't have structural racism within the institution that they could not maintain a misunderstanding about mental health. She continued, few would have the bravery to question their colleagues, family and community about the power structure they supported, and this is what Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have done, after stating that the Sussexes have the moral fortitude to talk about racial justice. The firm famously released a brief statement following the airing of Ms Winfrey's interview with the Sussexes in which it described the issues raised by the Duke and Duchess as concerning, and stated that, despite the fact that, some recollections may vary, they would be taken seriously and addressed in private by the family. Another news. King Charles rejected the invitation to join his brother Prince Andrew in a public shooting. The Duke's attendance at a photo shoot with Prince Edward and Princess and reportedly infuriated the King, who intends to ignore Andrew. Sources claim that King Charles disassociated himself from a shooting party that took place on the Windsor estate the previous weekend. Two days before His Majesty turned 74, the gathering featured Prince Andrew and his two other siblings, Princess Anne and Prince Edward. The King, it is said, disassociated himself from the gathering because of the apparent display of solidarity for the disgraced Duke of York. The breakdown in ties occurs when the King rushes through the House of Lords' proposals to sideline Prince Andrew and Prince Harry as royals as part of broader plans to reduce his retinue. The insider who revealed the incident to the Mail on Sunday last weekend claimed that King Charles had declined an invitation to the shoot and was dissatisfied by Andrew's request. King Charles was reportedly upset that Edward and Anne had been publicly meeting up with Andrew and wanted it made plain that he had not participated in the shoot, according to the source. Privately, Anne and Edward had been worried about Andrew and wanted to see how he was doing. Charles, though, feels that he shouldn't be a public figure. His Majesty was not at all pleased. Despite not taking part in the royal family's customary Christmas Day walk to St. Mary Magdalene Church, Andrew is anticipated to be welcomed by the King at Sandringham. King Charles does, however, seem to be giving Edward and their sister, Princess Anne, priority for another important position, that of Councillor of State. In the House of Lords last week, the government tabled laws allowing the monarch's sister and youngest brother to fill in for him when he is absent or ill. This includes giving them the ability to assume the king's constitutional and legal responsibilities in such a situation. They might be requested to convene or adjourn parliament, consent to the selection of government officials as judges or ministers, preside over the Privy Council, hold meetings with diplomats, or sign legislation into law. It will be fully debated by the Lords on Monday, and all other stages will be finished by Wednesday of the following week before it moves to the Commons, then returns to the Lords, where it will be given royal assent to become law.